Margin time now, Tank. Margin time, Brenda. Time is here. Lindholm Lakes, Ron Laurel's Lake today. Yeah. We've had a good start early on in the day. Because the size of these are fun, <laughs> mate. Honestly. We had a good start over to the island, but now it's like three o'clock onwards. I can I can't really hand around that one. <laughs> the size of that That's one. Ridiculous. Absolutely nailed. Look at that. But we're catching in the margins now. Yeah. And I'm gonna run through on this little film. Yeah. A few tips about catching in the edge at this time of year because it's not crash bang wallop, although we've just had like three great big ones plus that big F1, so it is good. <laughs> um but we're gonna run through about what sort of depths to fish in, what baits to feed, mm -hmm. because it's not easy. And I think to get the most from the margins, I think the biggest thing I'll say to everyone watching is don't fish it too early. I know it, there's a bite size at Holcroft that I've basically spoke a lot a bit of, about catching big carp and fish down the margins, but don't go down your margins too early because the reason why it is so good at the minute is because we've left it for so long. Mm -hmm. Literally, we've got here at like 10 o'clock, started fishing at about 11 o'clock to that island, had four hours fishing up to that island, caught lots of you know F1s, odd carp, but when you're fishing a match, if your match finishes at say four o'clock, I'd be looking to, as a rule, to be feeding and fishing in my margins with about an hour and a half, two hours to go. Two hours to go if I feel like it's going to be brilliant. If I feel like it's not going to be amazing, an hour and a half to go, start feeding it, but give it 15, 20 minutes before you actually go on it. So what I've been feeding today, I've got some ground bait, I've got some micro pellets. I always like to feed ground bait whenever I fish in the margins, unless it's like four or five foot. And if it is four or five foot, Probably wouldn't fish in the margin, I'd rather fish short. Yeah. But today I found three foot of water is the best. Down here. Which is this rig here. I've got a little mark on my top kit saying three foot. You can't see it because it's like hidden behind all these, but I know that's two and a half, that's three. So it's basically just over three foot there. Yeah. I'll run through a little bit about rigs in a second. But what I've found the best way to feed, and this is something to bear in mind at this time of year, especially in the spring when it's not red hot, mm -hmm. don't feed too much ground bait and micro pellets and stuff like that. I think fish love maggots at this time of year. So I've got loads of dead maggots here. Yeah. And what I've been feeding is literally, I've got 300 mil pot here, been putting like a good palm of maggots in. Yeah. Like that. And I've been, and I've got some ground bait here and micros, as you can see there, I've got micro pellets, ground bait, corn, and an odd dead maggot in. It's all sorts of Bit of a mix that, I like that though. And all I've been doing, I don't want to feed too much of this because I don't want it to be too liner heavy. If you put, if you just filled your pot up with that, you get liner to death, honestly, you'd lose fish, you'd, you know, you'd foul up them. So all I've been doing, just to draw them in a bit, I've been doing a one-handed ball like that, yeah. Make it a nice nip because in three foot of water, I want that to go down and, and like break down like that on the bottom. Mm -hmm. I don't want it to be loose so all the particles are in, you know, in the water column. But it is three foot, it's quite deep for margins. So all you have to do, give it a nice one handed squeeze like that. You can see there's a lot of bit of bait there, there's a bit of corn, a bit of loads of micro pellets. And the ground bit is F1 sweets and new mainline stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I've made it, as you can see, it's really heavy. Like it's proper dense. Yeah. And that's a good thing about that mix is it soaks up so much water. Yeah. And if you add micro pellets to it as well, literally fishery micro pellets, it's deadly because it's nice and heavy, but it's still got that attraction of ground bait. Mm. But don't put too much ground bait in. No, because all hell breaks. Honestly, you have nightmares. You, you can just, you can ruin your peg. So a nice little tip here. I'm fishing here, Brenda, right? Yeah. That's where my float is, there. Yeah. Right, and I like to feed my bait here. Oh, yeah, what is that? Just, I like to feed it there because if you look, if you, the fish will come in from, say, the middle of the lake here into the margins like this. Yeah. Right, and the first thing they come to is your is the bait. Yeah. And then slightly up above that is your hook bait, and okay. I like that because if the first thing that they come to is your hook bait, I think you get liners, you get the knock into your line, yeah, and it's not clean. And what I mean by that is you need to be looking for clean bites that go whack. Wallop under. That is the key to it. If you start strike at bites that go like this, hopefully we get a few bites that go like that, mm. and I'll show you what not what to strike at. Yeah. You need to strike at this. When it float goes whack, you'll have all seen it. It's incredible. <laughs> See, I love it, the buzz of it, and the big fish as well. Great, isn't it? And I thought I'd be catching a lot of mixture of fish, like F1, smaller carp. But honestly, 
from a few pictures that will probably be on screen now, I've had some massive fish, like 10 pound plus. I had one like 14 pound. Crazy, isn't it? Mm. I'm not, then, I'm not going to run through. Known as like an F1 it event, is, yeah, it? mate. It's, it's well known for like F ones. I just saw then the big F one. My nose is running. <laughs> it's, it's actually quite cold. It's really cold. It's not warm, is it? No. Right. So what I've been using as a hook bait, I've just been putting four maggots on because I don't want to put like six or eight on because I still want to catch those F ones. Mm. And as you can see, how big was that F one, Brenda? Three and a half pound. Ridiculous. You couldn't even get yeah. your hand around it. Couldn't could get you? my hand around it. Probably closer to four pound, right? So I've been putting four red maggots on, hook through the nose like that. Yeah. And the reason why I put them through the nose is because I've got maximum hook point showing. Right? I'm gonna catch as a fish because I don't want to leave it too long. That's another thing. You know when you feed your bait, don't leave it too long because they can come in and eat, eat it. All and go. So basically all the time I've just been waffling to you then. <laughs> Carpius has been filling his boots. <laughs> He's been in his belly. Put my rig into the right, like into the main part of the lake there. Yeah. And I'll let it settle. Oh, see there, I spooked a calf off then. Jones. No. But that's all right, because he's still come back. And I just let, literally let my rig settle into the bank like that. Okay. So this is to the left of where you to, fish. Can you imagine I've fed my bait there. Yeah. This is where I'm fishing. There. Oh, okay. And I don't know if you can see them back shot. You just about see them. Right, yeah. this, is, a bit more. this is something I'll talk through when we do his little rig chat. Hopefully I catch one now. But um, the back shot is so important because they keep that rig stable. As you can see, it's not moving. No. And I'm going to talk a little bit about the rig and the float and the hooks and, you know, how much weight of line I've got on the bot, you know, on the actual rig. Yeah. Because that's really important. Come on, let's get a big walloper under her. Then you know what, what to, well, so the people know what to strike at. Yeah. So, there we go. A bit right. like, but just as like, you couldn't get a better right. example. That, that pulled really, my it? elastic out, which is amazing, <laughs> right? So that's a key that you probably got one on, <laughs> right? But you see how quick the bite was, Brenda. Absolutely. <laughs> like, you, you blink and you miss it, isn't it? Yes. But I love that, though, because, you know, especially in matches and stuff, you can, you can like, you can go from nowhere to literally winning the match in the last hour. Yeah. What do you reckon, carp or big F1? I'm saying, I think carp, Brenda. I'm going to say big carp, F1 because it come in very quickly. Puller kits, so important, everyone. When you're using this style, of, you know, when you're using elastics, like I've got a grey hydro in today. Yeah. It's important because you don't want to be playing a big, massive carp on four or five metres of line. Make sure you've got, oh, it's a big, it's a carp. Is it? Make sure you've got a puller kit on, right? Because it makes it so easy, you know, when they buy your net, look. Yeah, it just makes life like so that, much look, easier. I can let line, if it evolves and it's bolting out, I can let it go, probably yeah. let it go, right? But when it's underneath my feet, look, I can't get any control over it. No, no, no. So what no I'm going to do is look to one big pull, one big pull, and all of a sudden you'll get to a point where you think, yeah, I've got them under control now. I feel a bit more under control now. Hmm. So I'm not going to let too much, pull too much elastic out. Let's have a little look. Definitely a carp. Got to be in there. But I love it when um, they pull the elastic out like that. Then, makes life a lot easier, doesn't it? <laughs> look at this swirls. That's a barbell. You're joking. No, I can't from. believe it. Oh, I love that. <laughs> I haven't caught a barbell in ages. That's nuts. <laughs> it's a nice surprise, isn't it? I, I, I didn't know there were any in or all. Come on. Oh, it pulls like mad. I wonder if he's pulling under your feet. I wonder if he's come from trend. <laughs> Someone dropped him in. <laughs> I can't have one of swirls. I thought it were a car. Tell you what, that is a good barbell as well, Brenda. <laughs> oh, my word. Oh, that, honestly, everyone, we, I, we haven't had a barbell all day. I didn't even know they were in here. Look at it. He's not banning at all. He's like four pound, isn't he? Look at it. Look at the hook, mate, Brenda. Absolutely nailed. Come on. Couldn't go any better, could it? Well, I love that. <laughs> Let's get rid of the up bait. I'll talk a little bit about the hook and line, everything that I've got on, because that's important as well. Yeah. Let's get this up. Honestly, I am buzzing with that. Especially on film. Let's see if we get a picture of your phone, or should we do it at the same time? Look at that. That what? That's awesome. I think I'm taking pictures. Like <laughs> <it>. <laughs> I How love cool that. Is that. Oh, man. <laughs> wow. Right. See you later, Bert. Cheers, Bertie. Go on, you, see, you won't mind him in a match, would you? <laughs> right. Talk a little bit about the rig. Come on. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, Brenda. What are you going to do? What do you think I'm going to do, everyone watching? 
gonna put some bait in first, then yes. talk about the rig. <laughs> because I wanna go back in and get another one. You wanna get another barbell, wouldn't you? It's important to keep bait going in. Like that. Another big arm pan full of palm full of panful. Panful. <laughs> We've got a little uh <laughs> tea fowl pan. We've got a little <laughs> Brenda, stop making me laugh. Right, we've got a nice big pot of maggots there. One and a ground bait like that. Good Make squeeze. it nice and, nice and heavy. Drop it in. Get her in. I think you've got to be positive with bait, but don't see too much ground bait. Honestly, you'll get a nightmare with losing fish by walking them. Right, so I'm going to put it in there. Right there. Got, lovely, someone's van is my marker. He's his license You've got quite a few vans <laughs> to use as a back, to be fair. Right, rigs and line everyone. I know I've been waffling on, so I don't want to waffle on too much. Hook choice is a 14 XS spade hook. Honestly, I absolutely love these hooks for fishing in the margins. They're super strong, nice big gape there, and it's got a long point and it's super sharp as well. The the perfect edge hook in my opinion. Absolutely dead line. I'll put four maggots on. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. I didn't know you. I bet you. Is that Italian? Been, no, that is um, Guatemalan, that mate. <laughs> so I'm going to put four on. Yeah. Three, seven. Right. And now I found today, I messed around with hook clamps. I found a six inch of O17 N gauge to be the best. Now, I know it's only three foot and I'd prefer to fish four, but whenever I'm fishing with dead maggots, I like to put like two two inches on the bottom. Yeah. So I like to keep it nice and stable because I think they suck it in a bit better. They're very than, light maggots, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. I think they suck it in and they actually eat maggots, whereas mm. things like, my nose is running. <laughs> really, honestly, it's freezing. Things like corn and stuff, they, they suck in and out and you've got to be quite, not a lot of line on the bottom mm. whereas maggots like to put at least like an inch or two on the bottom so that's why i like six inch six inch up clamp yeah so 17 engage my main line is 019 engage mm -hmm. and i've got low, uh, loads one two three four five six seven eight plus a ten micro cubes so that's quite a heavy rig yeah right eight number eight micro cubes is, is heavy for three foot very heavy and i've got a new jl float Oh, yeah. It's a bit of an elongated version of the bag of float. Yeah. And it's important because it's a bit longer because I'm fishing in slightly deeper water. If I was fishing with a bagger, I'm fishing in like a foot and a half, two foot. Hmm. This is perfect because it's got a long fiberglass stem, which is bulletproof, honestly. Um, got a really hard, durable foam body, just yeah. like all the other Guru floats that we make at Basildon. They're unreal, honestly. For this game, they are super strong. I mean, that's caught. So let's have a little look. That's caught about 50 easy 50 pound of fish and there's not even a mark on it at not all anywhere is it? no big nice visible hollow plastic bristle so 1.7 mil i think that is brenda it's absolutely yeah. brilliant love that actual visibility of it and i always shot it to like to like that okay you know don't shot it just pimple like half the bristle sort of yeah thing. like that because yeah. the bites are like this oh, boy. so quick but if I think they've knocking, seen. If they knock into your line and stuff like that, you, you, they can go under quite quick and you can not, like, if it's just like this and the fish knocks into your line, it can go like that and you think, oh, that's right. And then you strike and all of a sudden you foul up one and you ruin your peg. Yeah. Anyway, I'm waffling, sorry. <laughs> right, and I've got two number eight cubes just above there. And like I mentioned on the film earlier, it's important because it keeps this line above your float nice and stable. Look, it's not going to move anywhere. If I just add one, like, in the middle, like that, yeah. I think you, your, your rig can move around a lot more, especially in the margins when the fish are like swirling and stuff like that, mm. right? But if I put my first dropper a bit closer like that, it can't move around as much as you can see because this stays nice and stable. Yeah. I've literally, I took, imagine that's the water surface, right? Mm -hmm. I literally have my dropper like that, just so it's touching. Just skimming it. Yeah, just skimming it. So it keeps everything super stable over my bait. Mm. And it, that's a big key factor. Oh, that's oh, it using. That, oh, that's not nice, is it? That hurt a lot. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Well, that's oh. what you think. You know what? I'm, everyone watching, I'm, that hurt a lot. I've got a grey hydro in. Ah, yeah. Yeah, and it's nice medium between, like, say, a white and a big bertha red. I just like it. I think you've still got the control when you get them big fish underneath your feet. Mm -hmm. But... As I said earlier, I thought I'd be catching a lot more F1s than this, but I quite like the grey. It's, it's nice. I don't feel like it's undergunned. 
What do you reckon? It's not too pathy, is it? No, because if you do hook it, look at oh, like an F1 or something, you want to get it in, don't yeah, you? Yeah, you want to get it in. So I think if you use the red hydro, I think it'd be a bit bit too over the gun. Too man. Yeah. Right, I think I've left it too long now. It'd be interesting to see though, wouldn't it? Just so the folks at home can see. I think I've left it a bit too long, and I think the fish might have eaten it, and they're, they're not. Like, look there, that's a liner, everyone. You see that? Yeah, just like don't strike at that. Also, as well, try and keep your, 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 your pole this side of your float. Mm -hmm. If I keep my float, if I keep my pole here, right, I think all the fish are coming here. That's where the fish's heads are. Oh, so I yeah. don't like that. I like to keep my, my pole this side of the fish. Keeping yourself hidden. Trying to keep it hidden as possible. Let's see, come on. I might have left it a bit too long. Oh. So when you, when you did that first like that, part? You see that then? Yeah. Big liner. Don't strike at them. When you caught that barbel, you potted it in, it didn't move and then it just walloped under, didn't it? Yeah. But this time you've potted it in and you've, you've let it settle for a bit. And, and I've did, had an odd yeah. liner, Anna. Yeah, you you've had a lot of liners. That were a fish. Yeah. Right, that's a nice skimmer, that. Is it? Uh, yeah. Jimmy Rimmer. Jimmy Rimmer, that's a nice skimmer. That's a breeze. I like that though. Hey, not wrong with that, is there? No. You know, if you're in match condition, it's two pounder. Chuffed to bits with a breeze. Look at him. Got a red. Got a chair. Look at him. Right? It's not wrong with him, is there? Nothing wrong with him at all. Right. But I genuinely think that's because I left it too long. Yes. So make sure when you feed, try and go in as quick as possible. Because that's when I think the carp absolutely nail it. Especially at this time of night when it's like, look at that, it's absolutely nailed, honestly. Like a pound and a half him, not wrong with him. Nothing wrong at all. But I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna try and finish off the film by going feeding and going in straight away and hopefully demonstrating that a bigger fish is instant on your bait. Yeah, on there straight away. On the right. I'll tell you what another tip as well is, you know, rather than hooking your rig up and putting it down like that, yeah. just put it between your legs like that. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. And what I usually do is this. I don't know why I'm telling this is so away, many you're, secrets. You're giving too right? many tips away you are. Hook your bait up like this. Right, so one. In the match situation, these are valuable in seconds, ma aren't they? In match situations, everyone, right? When you think you need, I need one more fish to catch, I need one more fish to do well to win. You know it's tight, right? Mm -hmm. Hook your four maggots up like that. Make sure yeah. they're all nice and on the gear for the hook. Yeah. Your hook point's covered. Put it between your legs like Just that. Like this. Right. Get your pot. Nice powerful again. Give it a squeeze. One squeeze. Like that. Get it in. in. And watch how quick you are with this now. Using your tree roller. Got me tree roller. You have got it tight. <laughs> right. Put it on my mate's license plate. Yeah. The banging dunk on it. Put a banging dunk on it. You get the old look. Oh my god, it's balanced perfect. <laughs> right. Another little tip. Put, don't put your cupping kit at the side like this. No. Right. Saves loads of time. Put it there. Just on a little roost. You can just pick it up yeah. and just go and look, straight out. I don't have to hook my bait up. I'm straight in. Valuable seconds, Frankie. Valuable seconds. Don't mess around. I'm, I'm smarter than a lot, Brenda, aren't I? No. Do you reckon? I think you are. One of the smartest are you saying it? Uh, Yeah. <laughs> right. right. So now we're fishing. Look, them, honestly, them JLs fish so nice. They're lovely today, aren't they? First it's time we've actually used them today, so isn't it? I'm so impressed with them today. No. Right, you see that? Yeah, that's very slow, wasn't very it? Very slow. Didn't like that. Needs to go bye bye. Right, and I don't like where my rig's sitting, so I'm just going to do it nice and gentle, drop it in slightly to the right. Honestly, when you're fishing for these big fish, you've got to be fishing like you're setting a perfect little trap. Yes. Come on. Come on, get on there. This would be incredible. Great big bertha. We've had some stunning fish, Brenda, haven't we? We've had some cracking ghosties. We've had some lovely big commons. Big mirror. Big F1s. We've had a Bertie. Can't believe the Bertie's on film. <laughs> <Did you? laughs> no. Nailed it, haven't we? All we need now is a big carp now, and that'll be the cherry on the cake, wouldn't it? I think this will be, like, the best video anyone's ever seen. Oh, I got it. Come on. It's a carp. <laughs> Come on, God. Oh, no. Yes. I'm so nervous. <laughs> You wouldn't be in your national, wouldn't you? In national, mate. I'm... My bum would be twitching right now. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, listen, You're everyone right. watching, right? They're on it straight away, the bait. You can't on it. You can't mess around. This is great. Oh, he's pulling, Brenda. 
an angry one. Uh oh. <laughs> should I follow? Should I follow? Should I stay or should I go now? Could it might go around the island. He's pulling like mad him. I reckon he's on the island. Nah. Got ghosty written all over it. Yes. Reckon? Yeah. Right, free roll up. <laughs> there we go. In importance of the puller kit, everyone. Because look, look how far away he is. You couldn't nat him on top four, top five, could you? No chance. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna give him some beans, Bender. Give him some beans. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna give him hell. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna give it to him. <laughs> Come on. This is a cart. This it's is gonna be incredible. It's definitely a cart, Render. Let's have a little look at him. Cool, please. Get the net out too quick. I'm gonna let everyone look. <gasps> it's a ghost. I <laughs> said it was a ghost. <laughs> yeah. I did say it was. <laughs> oh, that's mean. Oh, this, yeah. This video has been incredible, isn't it? We've had everything. <laughs> Can you imagine now if like a bird comes and attacks us? <laughs> Noticed that it was going a little bit then. Oh, let the elastic, yeah, let the elastic bit. out. That's the you can control. It's a bit like a reel. You can like you know like get the clutch of your reel. Right, you got get it. him up. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. <laughs> oh, I tell you what, what a film. <laughs> Smashed it, oh. <laughs> Man, he's a lot bit. He's like he's double figures. I'm telling. Every day of the week. Wow, okay, he's nailed, isn't he? Look. Was he coming off or was he coming off? <laughs> he never coming no. off in a million years. Really, really. <laughs> right, come on, they're trying to get you. His mouth's massive. We've done the species challenge, isn't it? We've got an F1, we've got a brew, and we've got a big cheese on toast. And a barbel. And a barbel. I reckon that's an awesome way to finish, Brendan, don't you? I don't think there's a, there's a better, better way. way. Right, get back and have a little look at her. Or him, sorry. <laughs> look at the belly on it. Wow. What a fish. That's incredible, isn't it? Adam Frankie. Slide on, brothers Slide and on. sisters. Wicked. Awesome. Look at that render. Immaculate. I hope the tips helped. Yeah. Catch what fish is like this? Oh, awesome. 